tutorial, we're going to start from the very beginning if you're brand new to Illustrator and just starting a new document. As we say here, you may not even know you need to know this. So if I go up to File and New, I can have all of these new document options. We are going to keep it within the print realm. You can go here if you're working on something for mobile, web, print, film, or video. Illustrator has these great default sizes that can be really useful. And it will also keep the recent sizes. So I use 8.5 by 11 quite often. You will see here on the right hand side, it has mine is set to inches, and you've got 8.5 by 11. You've got orientation, you've got number of artboards, you've got the bleed, which we'll talk about that more in print specs, but right now we're sticking to the basics. So we don't need to know what a bleed is just yet. You have color mode if you like to work in CMYK versus RGB. Again, if you're just starting out, you may not even know which one you need to know yet. And resolution would be 300. So you have this here. You just went to File New. I clicked on 8.5 by 11. If yours does not say that and you need to get to it, you just type it in over here, 8.5 by 11, and you make sure this is set to inches. A common problem I often see when students turn in work is that they forget to change something from pixels and they will type in eight and a half by 11 pixels and if I hit create it might seem like it's all good but as you work you will find you will have problems this will be very small so see how small that stroke came out when I made that circle so if I close this and I go file new and I make sure this is eight and a half by 11 inches. See what eight and a half by 11 pixels change to when I switch this to inches. So I type in here eight and a half by 11, hit create, and I have my new eight and a half by 11 inch size document ready for me to go in Illustrator. <music>